Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a very serious and urgent situation that is happening in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or DRC. Before I start, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for your support. The DRC is a country in Central Africa that has been plagued by violence, poverty and disease for decades. It is also home to some of the most diverse and rich natural resources in the world, such as minerals, forests and wildlife. But these resources have also been a source of conflict and exploitation by armed groups, foreign powers and corrupt officials. In the past year, the humanitarian crisis in the DRC has worsened dramatically. More than 6.3 million people have been forced to flee their homes due to a spike in conflict and insecurity, as well as natural disasters and disease outbreaks. That's more than double the number of internally displaced persons at the end of 2022. Most of them are living in overcrowded camps or host communities, where they face hunger, malnutrition, lack of water and sanitation, and exposure to diseases. The worst affected areas are the eastern provinces of Atori, North Kivu and South Kivu, where about 6 million people have been uprooted by violence since March 2022. These provinces are also witnessing an upsurge in infectious diseases, such as cholera, measles and Ebola. In North Kivu alone, more than 17,000 cholera cases and 148 deaths have been reported since December 2022. The disease has also affected neighboring South Kivu. The two provinces account for 82% of the more than 136,000 measles cases, including 2,000 deaths, recorded in the country so far this year. In addition to the armed violence, flooding earlier this year affected 36 health facilities in North Kivu, South Kivu, Kasai and Tishapo provinces, further increasing health needs. During an outbreak of violence in North Kivu in October 2022, at least 32 health facilities were looted or damaged, limiting access to services. In Mai and Dom, Kasai and Tishapo provinces, flooding and intercommunity violence have uprooted nearly 100,000 people. Around 18,000 measles cases and 444 deaths have been recorded in the three provinces. The United Nations humanitarian agencies have sounded the alarm over the rising humanitarian needs in eastern DRC and called for an immediate step-up of operations to assist the affected population. With the deterioration of the humanitarian situation in Mai and Dom, Kasai and Tishapo, the World Health Organization, WHO, is also immediately scaling up emergency health assistance to respond to the rising needs. The WHO has activated its maximum level of organizational response to the humanitarian crisis in the affected provinces. In scaling up its response, the organization will focus on bolstering access to essential health care services including mental health, gender-based violence and vaccination, early warning and surveillance, provision of life-saving medicines and supplies, and prevention of sexual exploitation and abuse among the vulnerable population. The worsening insecurity has taken a heavy toll on millions of people already faced with dire living conditions deprived of critical basic services such as health, said Dr. Bure Mahama Sambo, WHO representative in the DRC. With partners, we are determined to step up our assistance to ensure those most in need have access to life-saving health services. The major health needs include basic emergency health care, including reproductive health services, mental health and psychosocial support and care for victims of gender-based violence as well as trauma. Ensuring access to essential health services by the vulnerable population, along with strengthening disease surveillance, prevention and response to outbreaks are all crucial for the emergency health response. Other priority areas of health response include disease prevention and routine vaccination, cholera, measles and polio control as well as rehabilitation of health facility equipment. This year, U.S. dollar at least 174 million are required to provide urgent health assistance. However, just 23 million United States dollars, or 13 percent, have been mobilized. This is a shocking and heartbreaking situation that deserves more attention from the international community and the media. The people of the DRC need our solidarity and support more than ever. They deserve peace, dignity and health. That's why I urge you to share this video with your friends and family, and spread awareness about what is happening in the DRC. 
You can also donate to reputable humanitarian organizations that are working on the ground to provide relief and assistance to the affected people. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informative and helpful. Please leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Stay safe and take care. Bye for now.